Alrighty everyone, what's going on this Panther Dragon? We have Wiener Man slash Alpha Lion. It goes back and forth, but basically Wiener Man is actually a 1v9 machine, aka the boss, on uh, off stream when he's not playing for you guys, right? He's actually insanely good. Um, so the runes he's running is Electrocute, Sudden Impact, Bible Collection, Treasure Hunter, Absolute Focus, and Gathering Storm, all scaling runes. He actually, oh my goodness, what the hell? And he, he goes Doran's Blade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what the funny thing is? He actually doesn't go pot, right? He is, you know, he is against the health potion. I mean, I am too. Ever since it became 150 health to 120, it's just like, why would I even buy this, right? Like, there have been times where I've recalled and I'm like, okay, I actually just can't buy anything. So I'm kind of screwed, right? But basically, <laughs> he <laughs> buys Doran's Blade and has... 55 gold oh yeah because he cleared a ward right so there it is with that being said though he's against a talon this is a uh, oh this is actually quinn favored um talon can one shot later but quinn can actually outplay with her e if she just spams the ground um when he's in stealth right or yeah basically or can cancel his q so this is very quinn favored talon can never q quinn unless he alts first so look at this talent. He can't play anything. He's actually even walking up trying to deny XP. Uh oh, wait, that didn't even get in tower range. So that was his electrocute. I didn't see the third auto. I just saw E then auto, but maybe Harrier um, procs your electrocute after E plus auto, right? That's what I think. Oh my goodness. Look at that spacing on the turret. <clears throat> so Talon, uh, two CS, he's still getting XP. He is going to be... Okay, so actually, I think this is his ward, right? Let's check. Yep, this is Quinn. If you notice, in every game, he puts a ward at chickens. This is also what Tyler1 said when he got EU Challenger. He said to always ward uh, enemy chickens. Always ward the enemy chickens, right? Because that would give you so much info where the jungler is. And now that because the jungler hasn't done this, he can assume that either he's coming towards this from the golems or he's doing a folklore from blue whatever it is we can see it because we're like map hacking at the moment but hey look even a ward here so this ward's about to expire but look how much information it's given you because the enemy hasn't done chickens now you finally see it she's doing a full clear and you know exactly what to do so in my opinion you have full reign off this oh he didn't get the cannon unlucky um but yeah he's gonna invade he does have exhaust and flash he's gonna put a little bit of pressure on her and nocturne is gonna be pressuring He's also level three. He has two points into Q. Um, so what I would do if I were my mid laner, I would try and help the, I'd actually try and shove this in and then help my jungler do this. I'm surprised this jungler is not putting it into the bush. Okay, there you go. Because if you secure his red buff, woo, this enemy jungler is actually pretty screwed. So I would shove in while also trying to trade with this person. Um, not just also concentrating on the laning phase, right? There's the laning phase. This is what I was talking about. If his E is down... Oh, what the hell? Ah! 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 So, uh, so obviously... Oh, well, it's not obvious, but like... Yes, the plan was to like, basically cuck the enemy jungler. Uh, I don't think anyone pinged that Pike was roaming, right? You see this? Yeah, Pike was... Maybe here? Maybe? But I'm pretty sure she didn't ping on the river or anything. So basically, uh, Quinn didn't know that Pike was roaming there. I think what Rel did was she just pinged her lane, missing in action. You think anyone like mid laner is going to actually pay attention? The only one who can actually help that. Uh oh, she is dead. So Pike obviously kind of carrying already. But uh, the only way to actually get notify your teammates that pike is missing is you you have to ping missing ping the river like this right like you have to ping the river that someone's missing no one's gonna notice that like pike is missing right it, it's so as a jungler if i'm playing jungle and i notice that pike is missing i i usually do this um i will ping missing ping on the river like everywhere um yeah i'll i'll ping missing ping on the river i'll even missing ping my mid laner if uh pike is like coming so i'll closely do it over here otherwise you'll never know look what the look at this look at these wards by the way these are so good he's putting it to camps and he just wants vision of any jungler when he pushes in you'll notice he just roams and then by roaming he actually gets 
Oh, did he cancel his Q? I don't think he did. He has a proc of his bleed stack. So I don't think he canceled it, but you can easily cancel the Q. He can? Getting a little aggressive. He does have E. So if Quinn has her E, he can play as, <clears throat> as aggressive as you want. So that's what he's gonna do. He's actually down 270 gold, but something's happening here. Not a kill. Even Quinn knows this. So he's just gonna back off. Fortunately, he did not flash out a Pike E. It's kind of obvious that Pike was going to E, but you know, it's okay. Oh, now he's got full reign of this. Should go full aggro. One more. There it is. <sighs> now this guy has to back. I actually don't know how he's going to deal with a uh, level six Talon who is a little ahead, right? So this can be quite. I mean, he's up a hit point, but I'm just kind of curious how he deals with the level six Talon. To, no, let's, hey, come back, come back. Let's see. So instead of here, he's going to not go for this kill. Well, actually, he can't. Wait, can he? Does he have electrocute? He does. Let's see how much. Um, electrocute got nerfed. So electrocute got nerfed. Let's see how much damage I would have done. 86, it wouldn't have killed him. If he got maybe an E or something, I don't know. Maybe he would have killed him, but he needs to get it. Electrocute proc plus another auto. But anyways, with that being said, he's going to shove in. Probably going to back after this. He knows Vi is here. Oh, man. Good, good. He's going to dodge it. What? What? Wait, that pike you hit. Except I know he did it a little bit short. But that pike you should have hit. With that being said, though, we're going to go down here. And y'all is chilling. She's two deaths, actually. The comp is actually very nice having a Ziggs AD carry. So they have some AP damage. Top lane actually just got a kill. Solo kill into Riven. This is actually a Riven matchup favorite. Because uh, Gwen is actually good into tanks. Oh, is he going to engage on this? See, he never will E onto this person. He'll only just Q, auto, and R into them. He won't actually press E. Until Talon uses his Q. Or Talon uses... Hmm... Alt, I guess. But... Even then, you just spam the ground, and then if he's on top of you, that's how that's the only time you can eat. Let's see what happens here. He maxes out W. Actually, it's kind of funny. He he maxes out W, even though he's going lethality, right? But I think his hair just what the heck? Well, this hair does two hundred thirteen damage. What the hell? Oh yeah, it does. Well, this thing is broken, and it cooldown is reduced by crit chance. Uh, I never knew that actually. I knew crit chance did something, but holy crap. 213 damage? You don't even need to level up Q. Your hair gives you movement speed, attack speed, cooldown reduction. Oh, what the hell? See, look, he's not using it. He's not using it. He has exhaust too. And he's dead. Now it's an execute. Nocturne's ulting on the Ziggs. That's a dead person. Pike has ganked mid several times. Without any missing ping, he's outplayed it pretty easily. Oh, he's got to back out. He does have E. There you go. Oh, that was a really good E. The flip off the Riven. He's very, very... Um, holds his E until he sees the combo, right? Oh, that was a good W from him. And let's see here. Okay, good. Now this wave is kind of screwed. Look at his hit point. Look at the pressure from everyone. Ro can help him push on mid. So he has to give out this and then, yeah, he'll just back with ult, right? So, gonna go Berserker Grease, Serrated Dirk, and he'll catch maybe some of this wave. Um, he's actually, he's actually 200 gold up onto his counterpart. He did kill him. And now what they have to do, since Dragon is gone, he's gonna have to push out this wave and play for Herald. He needs to roam right about now. Again, never can eat. Ooh. Oh, oh, okay. Good. See? Doesn't get the bleed proc. He needs to get an auto off. So this is how favored the Quinn matchup is. Because Talon can even get three procs on him, but she'll never he'll never get an auto attack. He's trying to look for a flash if needed, but it seems like they secure it. So he look like I said, he did push and contest his he can exhaust this person. Wait, what? Oh yeah, wait. <laughs> wait a minute, I just noticed something. Uh so he exhausted the Vi. Yeah, instead of exhausting the... Oh, shoot. 
instead of exhausting the Riven, um, uh, funny enough, Riven also didn't ignite for some reason, so that's interesting. But basically, he's gonna catch this. Oh wow, he sees a kill. He is going to predator onto this person. Um, yeah, he lost the divine instead of Riven, which was interesting to me. Maybe he needed to slow. I knew that Riven was so weak. Does he get the? He does get it. He gets. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was actually kind of well played. <laughs> That was actually so funny to watch. It looked really weird. Oh, wow. That was a really good E. To bounce into the wall. And then to actually get um, an animation cancel, right? If you E, like I said, if you E right here, it's like an instant E. So you would auto and then E. And then you can bounce into this wall. And it cancels the animation of your E. Uh, I don't know who it's similar like. I think it's like Vayne. It's actually probably similar to Vayne Q. But he's going to get some plates here. He's already got red buff. Two people can kill him here. Talon and Vi. You can see they are missing, so he respects that. Um, Six got here pretty quick. Talon should be here. Okay, Pike was here, actually. So yeah, Pike and Vi were here looking for the kill. He's going to be rushing Prowler's Claw. Not Ghostblade. Okay, so what does Prowler's Claw do? Let's see. Attacking. If dealt by a melee champ, this attack also slows by 99%. Oh, okay. So it doesn't get a slow. He just gets um, basically a little bit more damage. And he also gets like lethality and all that stuff. Interesting enough. Also, it's 5 seconds. So his E will be up every 10 seconds, I guess. I'm gonna have to force his ult. I don't know who got that. <clears throat> Top is winning. Oh, he's actually 4 and 1. Interestingly enough. And they get the dragon. He fight's gonna happen. This guy's gonna get away. Unless Quinn could E, but it was a little hard. He's trying to get an auto, then E into it, but you can actually cancel Pike's E with Quincy. That's okay though. It's like really hard to predict when Pike's gonna E, right? So it's all up to the all up to the Pike player. Pushes this in. Again, I've noticed. He doesn't play for a lot of platings. It's more of a roaming Quinn to help his teammates. And also, he has uh let me go for this plate. He's queuing mid and I think jungle. He's not queuing top anymore. No more scion. Also, I think he knows about the plates being reduced. So dude, they've nerfed the boss strategy so much. I I actually gonna I'm actually gonna check what they said about the um, why they nerfed it? Plates. Let's see. Plates. I gotta have to see this. Okay. Gold. Plates, 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 plates. Turret plating. Similar reason for the death time adjustments. We're also reducing turret plate gold as a way to reduce the amount of wars ahead players can get access to. This amount of gold should be satisfying and rewarding in the event the player can get a turret plate, but won't be as a detriment to the opposing laner. Yeah, I think they... Yeah, this is all like boss nerfs. It's really weird why they do this. Oh! Yeah, Rift Trail gives less gold. Oh my goodness. Okay, wow. Interesting. And then, yeah, Death Timers. Death Timers. They, uh. They nerfed. Well, they buffed it, right? They, de they technically buffed Death Timers. So there's more skirmishing early game. And I think. Oh, I see why. Because early game is just super important. Good exhaust. Unfortunately, he's going to die here. Yeah. A little bit aggressive, but that's okay. <clears throat> If Rel was frontlining, it would be nicer, but he doesn't have flash or exhaust. He gives his bounty away to Zig, which is not the person you want to give it to. Why do you not? Wow, that's a really good Rel engage, actually. Yeah, that was so good, actually. What the hell? Hey, good for his team. <clears throat> Let's see here. He gets a few assists. Yeah, might be like one. And Nocturne gets full reign of this jungle. And I think he might die. Wow, it doesn't have ult or anything? Okay. Yes, Swifties on Talon too. Is this Talon actually doing really well into a Quinn. Notice that he's only down five uh I'm dumb. I'm dumb. Hold on. Seven CS. Oh, now six CS. There's a TP coming here. Big fight coming here. Very interesting stuff, okay. Did I pick the right replay? Hold on. I I, I think I did. I just Okay. I, I did. It's just 
this game looks like it's over like they're 5k down how can like top lane one mid lane one bot lane went even which is fine he's in a really awkward place he doesn't oh he just goes down look at that uh oh he's dead um okay that was a very aggressive play he tried i mean if he goes this way you see he was cutting him off Pike was up cutting him off i i forgot there's a hexed gate though maybe he could have gone here hmm but yes uh i mean the tower did hit him <clears throat> tower did hit him aggro all that stuff so kind of hard to e and kite that and if talon comes out of stealth he q autos the auto is very fast by the way uh, when Talon presses Q melee range, the auto is very fast. So I don't know if you can actually cancel to it, but if you E the ground, uh, just like, let's say I'm playing Quint, and you E right here, it should be able to cancel the auto before he gets the bleed. It's, it's, I think it's very hard though, but I think he can pull it off. That being said, Stride, what the hell? Doran's Blade on Mr. Nocturne. That Omni Vamp, everyone's buying the Doran's Blade into the jungle, I heard. <clears throat> Maybe even Dorn's ring? Oh, what the fuck? I think this, uh, Gwen's kills them all. That was missed. Uh-oh. Well, he's gonna get pushed in. He's gonna push him in. He sees everyone's pressuring topside, so he's gonna go hurry, try and get this tower down. Can they do this? Uh, this is a... I don't think they can. Bleed is on him. He should die though. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, this game is not going as expected. But, uh. Okay, okay. I still believe. This is a kind of a throw. Dive is hard because someone has stealth and you got two auto auto attackers, right? What the hell? The ribbon. Why did she stop? Oh, she got rooted probably by Jin. Um, is this Jin doing tra trap max? So oh, he's not doing trap max. So his root's gonna be a little bit higher. I think she did get rooted by uh, Jin W. Let's see here. Oh, almost got that kill, but that's okay. I'm gonna go for extreme wave flare. and then we're going to go push another wave is coming or go for roam secure the dragon first and then you can yeah that's fine I'm gonna get oh sh you can respect it but that's okay should be able to kill nice got to kill oh this vi is really weak why did she build sunder which is good into um this nocturne build this a thousand health nocturne build it's also good into rel is not good into these two he doesn't have ninja tabby <clears throat> and this gwen it's it's kind of good into but uh, not really i mean it is if she builds health she might be going full ap but she should be building health because her w does get resist right this is a weird vibe belt. wow she is getting cream i think she might be auto fill to be honest <clears throat> nocturne keeps doing this oh yeah Nocturne keeps doing this. I don't know why. He's just trading alt for alt. And Talon's alt is on a lower cooldown. If you have not noticed that. <clears throat> so he finally got his ghost blade. This is a huge power spike. And instead of getting... Um... Oh, actually, I know why he does this. I'll, I'll tell you guys why. Hold on. What the fuck? I'll tell you guys why he does this. It's because ghost blade has a mythic pass. That gives 7 more AD. So he wants to get a legendary item before. <clears throat> so before going is uh legendary right so that's why prowler's claw and it also cost i think it costs 2900 i could be wrong wait let's see and this haunt passive scales with level so red team's turret has been destroyed so yeah, this oh my god, what the fuck? We exhausted him. He was actually scared. Rampage. 
Damn, he's actually scared. Okay, wow. I guess he didn't eat the exhaust. Like, cra that's actually crazy. <laughs> but uh, Ribbon tried to go for a kill. Uh, with that, oh no. He's eating he himself. There it is. See, he can't get it. Oh my god, the phase rush. Okay, what the hell? Okay, phase rush actually helped him into getting that kill. But you see what happens if if uh, Talon doesn't have phase rush, he actually can't get that bleed passive auto. And what what uh, what boss is doing is he's eating the ground when he appears out of stealth. That's the only way to get like instant perfect reaction to him coming out of stealth. Anyways, I did want to mention something. Is Prowler's Club better than going Yomu's first item? Let's see. So Yomu's gets five AD more. Also gives you movement speed and <clears throat> out of combat movement speed. Uh, let's see here. And gives you lethality, right? At max shards. So it gives you technically more lethality for going for assassinations. Prowler's Claw, I would say, gives you 150 more damage. What do you guys think? Prowler's... Okay. If I based... He's got a collector. If I based... And I had uh, 2,900 gold or 3,000 gold. I'd probably buy Yomu's, but if I couldn't afford Yomu's, I'd probably just go Prowlers. But this is actually good in laning phase. Like if you want to harass your laner, rushing this item, 151 damage extra every five seconds. That's a, that's a good amount. That's a good chunk. You don't get the slow though. That's a problem for me. This is not a melee champion. Um... This is better for roaming. Depends. I think Prowler's Claw is better for laning. I think Yomu's is better for, for roaming. So if this plan is to roam, which Quinn is a roamer, then he can just run around the, the map and like just kill everybody, everybody, right? Oh. Oh my goodness. Should I go for a steal? And yeah, this Quinn mid pick. It has a lot of pushing power and we all know how aggressive boss is on Quinn, right? He's very aggressive. Uh oh, I don't think he should go for this. Oh, wow. I don't think he should. Okay. It's because Talon has stealth, but his damage was, was really impressive. His damage is really impressive. And you actually, if we actually check the damage charts uh, at the end of this game, I'm pretty sure because he plays so aggressive. Although that does give bounties away. It was only 150. Let's see here. And Dragon wasn't up, so it wasn't the worst death. They just gave Baron Pressure away. In my opinion, he should play around his Rel and his Nocturne. So those Gwen. Why? He shouldn't split push. Why? Because Talon, Vi, Pike, they all exist in this game. So if you play behind your Rel, you play behind your Nocturne, who's for some reason built Merc Treads. I'm gonna peek by the way. I mean Merc Treads is good into the Riven and Pike and I guess this Ziggs but I'm one one two three four AD. I don't know why anyone would build Mercs. Oh see something. I'm sorry we gotta see this again. What happened? What happened to skirmish right here? Oh he just goes in. I mean, this is a good one to go in on. He's exhaust too. Yeah that's good. Uh oh. At least he sets up his team for good fights, I guess. Hey, his team is pretty far ahead. And let's see. When is. Ooh. Gwen has been. Splitting. Wow, she should be splitting. She sees two people dead. Dude, these guys can't. She can 1v2 uh, Pike and. What's her name? He needs to push this in. Although she's scared for some reason. And the Ziggs is irrelevant. Why? Because she has her W. And so, yeah, basically super irrelevant. Um, when fighting this. So she could actually push this. She has a timer. Do you see the timer? One, two. Yeah, there's a timer. They're both dead. I don't know why she doesn't push this. She can easily 1v2 Pike and uh, Riven. And she has Zonia's. Like what? What the hell? People just don't know their limits, I guess. This is a very nice fight. Is he gonna roam here or is he gonna push the wave? He's actually going to the wave. And then he'll clean this up, I, I'm guessing. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. I forgot. Collector is kind of OP on coin, right? Okay. Ghost plating in. Oh, this is awkward. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is a very scary build. Uh, at three items, it seems like it's very, very broken. His vulnerability, how much can you proc this? I think two times, right? Oh, three times. Okay. So if I'm playing vulnerability Quinn, causing Quinn's next attacks. Oh, so this doesn't include your auto attack. It's just your full auto attack plus, uh, plus the bonus damage from Harrier. Okay. So this auto attack, each Harrier, he's got a combo of three, right? The first Harrier looking at them, auto. Q auto E auto. So it's like a 1600 combo. Don't forget electrocute on 2000 damage, even with the nerfs. 2000 damage. What? What? Let's see that combo again. Oh, he's got Serpent's Fang. Uh, I guess for Vi and what's her name? All right, let's watch. This is just an. Q, auto, E. What? Q, auto, E, electrocute? What does Q do? 619 damage. He must have crit. I think he crit. He has uh, 20 per I don't know if he crit. He does zero damage, by the way. I mean Talon maybe okay actually I don't think he has to crit this is like a 1500 damage combo oh my god oh well this build looks very broken people are isolated he plays like an assassin I can see why being mid lane having better matchup as well and having a winning lane can make Quinn a very scary pick a lot of the items are just broken as well I don't know okay Oh my god, they don't know. He can't go in because if. Oh. Oh yeah, he blinds. I forgot. He has blind. He exhausted someone. I think he exhausted Vi. Yeah, I think he exhausted Vi. I couldn't tell. My bad. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that was. That was definitely coming. Oh? Okay. Alright. Um, dude, he's got 17,000 gold. His Gwen uh, kind of plays like a pussy. Oh, wait, she did something. But she's also playing like a pussy. Hey, I'm just saying. She could have got. Hey, this, this Nocturne is doing her job. I'm just saying. Oh, look at that. Nocturne's doing her job. He teleported somewhere, apparently. Rel. Who did he nice Val? I have to see. Um, how do I see? Has to be Quinn, right? Has to be. Oh. Wow, she's maxing out. Wait, what? Oh, you max out E on Rel? I didn't know that. Okay, anyways, go well back to Quinn. I don't I know who she knight vowed. This fight's over. He's just one shot and it doesn't matter. Autos, look at this. Oh what? Didn't get the last kill. He's a I mean This is a game ending play, so he doesn't have to back. Okay, let's see. Nocturne's tanking this. They're going for the end. Bro's got five items on Quinn. Does he have Lord Dominix? He doesn't. No one's building that much armor. But Lord Dominix would help. <gasps> but, like, auto QE just one shots anyone? I guess so. That being said, that's a big performance. His Quinn pick, kind of kind of scary. Like, this thing one-shots you, <laughs> it's just in one second, so...
pretty interesting stuff i'm going to show you guys the damage because it's actually kind of crazy the damage is pretty interesting 54,000. while well, his team didn't do anything he did double the talons like i don't know the aggressive playstyle is good i think it's good this is how you get rank one because most players in uh, top 50 challenger have great kdas it's because they want to make because they always make the game winning play all that stuff they will always go in um and they're not pussies like this gwen is a pussy so she won't know what to do when she's playing behind and players who play from behind will always try and make that play if they see it that being said though thank you for watching i think his coin is actually pretty good probably get like challenger slash 100 top 100 so right now he's rank 700 or 700 lp but i'll see you guys in the next one Bye bye